Hey guys, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I got a new sample pack called King of House. And now there is a special offer. If you use the code SNOW, you get 50% off your purchase. So yeah, check it out. Link is in the description. And if you are not interested, just ignore this message and let's get back to the tutorial. Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you a simple trick you can use in your song. It's like a reverb breathing effect. And yeah, let's just get started. This is an example song I created and we're gonna put the effect on it. So that's the example song, you can actually download it. Uh, link is in the description. And now let's put the effect, the reverb effect on it. So basically it's kind of empty in the drop. Uh, there are these breaks, as you can see, where there is no melody. So that's where we're gonna put the effect. So I want the effect to af affect uh, these three sounds. You don't wanna use this on the bass or the sub bass because it would just create a lot of rumble in the mix. So only the the main melody sounds and the piano. So yeah, I got the sounds on track three. These two are on track three in the mixer. And the piano is on track five. You just drag it and put it on a certain track. So what do we want to do? We want to put them on the same track. Uh, and uh, the way we do it is we hit the track three where there is these two sounds and go under track six, which is an empty track and just uh, right click this icon and root to this track only. And you do the same for track five, hit track five go under track six, right click, root to this track only. And now we basically got these three sounds on track six. So if we disable track six, uh, you can only hear the bass. So we're gonna put the effect on track six uh, and we're just gonna put reverb on there. And you can just like uh, put decay on eight seconds or more, depending on how much of the effect you wanna have. And now I'm gonna hold control and select just with mouse a certain part of the song and I'm gonna create automation clip of the reverb. So right click and create automation clip and it's only gonna create the automation clip in the selected area. And now we're just gonna lower the reverb all the way down so there is no reverb. And we're just gonna manually uh, set the reverb to come back on when there is a empty space in the melody. So just right click to create a new point and right click again and we can go around 50%, 60. And then right click again and move the point back to zero. And we can actually delete this and just have this part. And now we hold control select it. And now I'm holding control B to copy it. And we have the effect pretty much done. So now let's hear it. So yeah, that's the effect. Uh, we can actually lower the reverb a little bit here. And so if we want to edit it, we just uh, click on this little icon and make unique. And it's only going to edit one of the automation clips. And we can select all of them and copy them again. And we have a, a bit we improve the drop a bit with this nice effect. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a li little simple trick you can use in your music. Uh, it's nothing special, but 
it's a good trick. You can also use this uh, as a transition before the drop, like when you're creating a build up. So you just have like one long note with reverb and then the drop hits. That's also a good use of it. And you can use it in any style and just like think of something creative where you can use it. So yeah, thank you for watching. You can actually download this uh, in the description. And uh, check out my new sample pack, King of House. Actually, these uh, drums are from there, but you get that for free. But yeah, just check it out. It's a really cool sample pack. And if you use the code SNOW during the Christmas, then you get 50% off, which is a great deal. Thank you for watching and goodbye.